the best part about October is that it is officially spooky season. But for some animals, living the Halloween-inspired life is not limited to a single month. Here are five animals who embrace being spooky all year round. Okafi must love the dressing up part of Halloween. And that's why they spend all year looking like they're wearing a zebra costume. But it turns out their stripes aren't a costume or fashion choice. The forest that the Okapi live in had lots of areas of light and dark because the sunlight is filtered through all of the plants. And Okapi stripes help them blend into the different sections of light and dark and make them harder to spot for predators. Additionally, the white stripes make it easy for the baby Okapis to follow their moms through the forest. Bola spiders take the idea of trick-or-treating to the next level. Bola spiders hunt by creating a long silk thread with a gooey blob of adhesive at the end. This is called a bolus. When a moth flies into the bolus, it gets stuck, is reeled up, and becomes a meal for the spider. But how does the spider attract the moth? That's where the trickery comes in. A bola spider can mimic the scent of specific species of female moths. A male moth flies in, thinking he's going to meet a female moth, and instead gets stuck and becomes the spider's dinner. Some bola spiders will let their trap hang down, while others will swing it around like a lasso. You know your friend who takes their costume a little too seriously? They'll dress up as a zombie, but then insist on shuffling and walking slowly for the entire night and won't say anything besides brains. It turns out the corpse flower is like that, AKA Titan Arum. Unfortunately, their costume of choice is a piece of rotting meat. This is because they're trying to attract flies and beetles who are looking for dead animals to eat and lay their eggs in. The corpse flower will mimic the smell of rotting meat, the color, the texture, and even heat up to 98 degrees to make their deception all the more convincing. A flyer beetle will come in, buzz around, looking for somewhere to lay its eggs or eat a snack, and leave empty-handed. However, it'll also leave covered in the pollen of the corpse flower. And when it flies to the next corpse flower, it'll unknowingly serve as a pollinator. The spice bush swallowtail butterfly is your friend who has multiple costumes planned for the evening. As a caterpillar, they start out brown and white, resembling bird poop. This helps keep away predators, who are definitely not interested in snacking on that. As they get bigger, they become green and yellow with eye spots. This is thought to help them resemble a frog, a snake, or a lizard. Again, predators who are looking for a juicy caterpillar are going to pass by all of those options. The shape and location of the eye spots also means that no matter what angle you're standing at, it looks like they're staring right back at you. I'll watch a vampire movie or two around Halloween, but the oxpecker bird takes the vampire life very seriously. These small gray and yellow birds with their bright beaks and orange eyes do help the large animals that they sit on. They'll peck off insects and parasites and even squawk as an early warning system for when they see predators. But they also pick at the animals that they're sitting on, eating their blood and their flesh. They'll even keep wounds open so that they have a source of food. A meal of blood and bugs. Delicious! So the next time you're choosing your Halloween costume, consider dressing up as one of these animals who embraces spookiness all year round.